All right, so welcome back. In this video, what we are going to do is try to install Python on our Ubuntu. I'm uh, gonna take a course on Python, and for that, I usually use my AWS machine, uh, EC2 instance, but I was thinking why not do it uh, as offline as well. So let's follow the instructions. First thing first, change your, like, prompt to sudo because you can see right here it has changed from my username to root account that it because it, it, you have to do some installation the next is check for updates if any hopefully there are none but if there are any it's a good thing to have an updated machine especially I had 21-10 and I updated to 22 dash zero four so I want to make sure the reason I want to make sure is it was giving me a lot of problems uh, the other one was expired uh, it was only nine month release and I couldn't get the updates all right so let's start typing the let me actually clear screen here <coughs> and here Basically, what we're going to do is install a bunch of uh, dev developer tools, and we're gonna try to install them in one go. So for that, apt install. So this backslash tells that there are more. So we can install wget, we can install build essentials, no s at the end, libffi.dev, libgdbm, lib gdbm yeah it's hard libc6 dot dev libssl dev zlib1g dot dev lib z2 dot dev uh, dash dev lib read line dash dev lib sql light 3 dash dev oh i guess i was too fast uh, press enter before the well actually backslash is right above the enter that's what happened I'll have to uh, install the other three afterwards all right so we can see we can do all the way to lib sql light 3 the other three are going to be apt install y lib n curses 5.dev lib n curses w5 dash dev xc utilities and tk.dev So those were the other two. All right, so it's installed. Next thing what we're gonna do is go into the user source file uh, directory. 
CR SRC enter and if you ls here that is already a python there that's oh it must be from the old one that did not succeed all right so what we're going to do is we're going to try to get it again wget http python.org slash ftp python 3.7 2 capital P Y yeah, Python dash 3.7.2 dot er dot XC. So if you have the 22.04 uh, oh any point zero four uh, you've been to installation that is the long LTM long-term management like they supported for five years at least if you have any Ubuntu version that is point ten it is only supported for nine months what happened in my case was that I had the point ten twenty one point ten and it had only expired uh, two weeks ago on July 14 so when I was trying I was able to run this command but it will either partially download it or won't configure it so that's why the python files are there but they are not the correct one or they failed <clears throat> now we're gonna unzip the file that we just downloaded dar excel <clears throat> yep it does giving me another okay I see what the issue is It's gonna work yeah this time it did now we gonna run try to run the configuration that's when it was failing so the configuration is that you try to make a configuration file out of it and it's working so you have to do that inside the python file uh, unzip uh, python directory <clears throat> and this this is where it was failing it wouldn't run this configuration file uh, it will simply throw up an error and then quit All right, so now what we can do is we can uh, make alt install. Now this command, what it does is, like it says alt install, it ensures that uh, we don't overrun the systems Python uh, default uh, ins installation that comes with the Ubuntu. So it tells, hey, this is a different one.
So one thing to note, if your configuration file is not built, and it like it takes some time so you know it's working. Then if you try to run make uh, alt install, it uh, same thing happens. Error and then quit script away. I feel like uh, pausing the video here for this code to go. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna pause the video here then. And something happened. I got a system problem. I hope it's not related to, but it is. You can see the last line right here. It says error 139. Make file 1140, so I'm gonna just click report. Indicate and send report problem okay so next thing is to check that you have secure path in the Etsy sudoers to do that I like nano I'm gonna use nano but some people like uh, whim I don't like whim very much even though nano is a tiny one not many feature but it does get the job done over here if you see look for the secure path that is right here and we can see user local bin is in there if you don't have it you need to add this file and add in here since mine is already in there I'm gonna simply press right here control X and exit The last thing to do was to get the uh, pip uh, upgraded. There was another like uh, downloaded we couple of uh, files that I can't remember now, but I, uh, I believe I had to. Let's try to do pip. I'm gonna try to run the pip command here pip 3.7 it's install command not run pip install upgrade pip I'm installing pep now and now we can try to see yes so it's upgraded to successfully upgraded to pep 22 that's what you need all right so I know it was a very uh, not 
very expert video it was more and more like trial and error video but i wanted to do this on my own on my home computer yeah, because on the web version uh, on the ews one i've just followed the course instructions and i want to see if i can uh, replicate them on my home machine so that's just a uh, trial and error hopefully you have learned something or not <laughs> I will see you in the next one.